Champagne Juan steps in. All set. And they're off. Heart and Soul breaks on top. It's Heart and Soul with the early speed. And Take Me to Jimmy is right there. And down towards the inside, Pujol is right there with Scat to tap. They line up across the course in the early stages. And now Pujol in between horses has put a neck in front. Wanting to go as Heart and Soul is going to now tuck right in behind that leader. He's going to press on. It's Pujol. Past the wire the first time. At the rail there is Scat to tap. Wants to go as Wrangle back in here is going to hold that second position as they start to slow things down. 24 and .59 for that opening quarter mile. Now moving through, here's Scat to Tap. Getting more settled as Pujol outside of them. There's Heart and Soul. At the rail, that's Triumphant Road. Is followed by a snug hold here on Take Me to Jimmy, who's now in the fifth spot. At the rail there, Turquoise Cap is Wild Guest. Mid-pack, here comes a move from Champagne Juan. Is progressing forward with Breeze, who's towards the tail end of the field now, with War Officer. The two at the back. That's one bite and Nostalgic One. 50.44 for that half mile time. Still three across the course as Scat to Tap. At eight to one and Scat to Tap with a big long shot. Pooh hole is in the two path three wide. That's Heart and Soul. Not making a move yet with less than a half mile to go. Triumphant Road is tracking right in behind the battling trio. Just in behind them, that's Take Me to Jimmy, who's going to make a wide rally here and coming after the leading three. 115 flat for three quarters of a mile. They start to turn up the pressure up front. Scat to Tap is now still in front. Driven along in between horses is Pujol. Right there still is Heart and Soul. Triumphant Road looking for a way out. Wild Guess is tipping towards the outside. Also right there is Take Me to Jimmy as they're trying to swarm the leaders now. It's Heart and Soul who kicks on. Scat to tap is very game and sticking that neck out. It's Scat to tap and Heart and Soul trying to catch them up on the outside is Take Me to Jimmy in the late stages. Heart and Soul, but here comes Take Me to Jimmy and Take Me to Jimmy gets up. It's Take Me to Jimmy to win the finale. Take Me to Jimmy over Champagne won. Then came a three-horse photo as they were rolling there. Breeze was in there with heart and soul, so Scat to Tap was in that mix. Final running time, 1 minute 51. Flat. All set for the Artie Schiller. And they're off. Broken a very, very even line. Mason's got early speed to the outside, is up with a kick, and there's Big Everest to join this leader. It's going to be Mason and Manny Franco trying to cross over. It's going to be in the two-path here is Big Everest. Joel Rosario, they're going to hold that rail position, and they work into that first turn. Just off of them, that's Exact Estimate, who's in the third spot. St. Anthony, just a touch wide there, is in the fourth position at the rail. That's Pioneering Spirit, who's now back to fifth. Jerry the Nipper, Jose Ortiz, in towards the tail end of the field with James Aloysius, and the early trailer is Wicked Finn. They're all chasing Mason. Mason is seven to two and Big Everest wants to go is five to one. Really wants to go is just tugging there is back in the third spot as moving up on the outside of that rival's exact estimate. St. Anthony is in the clear, starts to move forward now is challenging for the third spot. Pioneering Spirit, Jose Lescano looking to get off the rail and is doing just that as James Aloysius is gonna try and follow that move. Jerry the Nipper, second to last and the trailer is Wicked Finn. It's Mason still in front, 47.53 for that half mile time. Mason, exact estimate, is looming up on the outside, ready to challenge. Big Everest has been tugging at Rosario, is looking for room. Big Everest is bottled up in behind horses. Mason's got the lead, and now the rail is going to open up here. Big Everest is launching late. Mason is in front. Mason up by a nose. Big Everest diving down towards the inside, and now Exact Estimate is trying to commence a rally as well. It's going to be Big Everest to hold on. Big Everest wins the Artie Schiller. Big Everest gets it over Exact Estimate. Mason was in there. It was a late photo there. Pioneering Spirit came on late with Jerry the Nipper in one minute, 34.4, five seconds. For the early pick five at Saratoga Racecourse. They're in the gate. And they're off. A very tardy beginning for later, Darling. And the favorite, Way the Risk, hopped slightly at the start. Sands of War is going out for the early lead. Smooth Waves has speed, as does Golden Ghost. Three of them across the course in the early going. Karina Nebula is racing a joint fourth on the outside of It's Hot in Here. 
who is about four lengths off the lead. It's another two back to Ozara, who has made it over to the rail. A length and a half to backstretch Rose. Kingdom Come is next through a quarter and 23 and three-fifths seconds. Weigh the Risks is toward the back of the field with King coming through along the inside fourth. Three and a half lengths off the pace with less than a half mile to travel. Then comes It's Hot In Here, who's racing in mid-pack at this stage. And Karina Nebula is just outside of her. Kingdom Come needs a bit of racing room in behind that pair, followed by Backstretch Rose and Weigh the Risks. They went 48-4 and four for the half mile. Weigh the Risks still with about 10 lengths to make up, looking for a spot to try and unleash a bid. Later, Darling is the trailer. They are at the top of the stretch. And on the far outside, Golden Ghost comes trying to get the lead. A sustained bid from Ozara, one from the rail, and now way the risks is cut loose in the center of the course, and here she comes. Has to get to Ozara late. Ozara, way the risk, moves into second. Ozara, way the risk is coming. Ozara is still in front, and here's the line. Ozara wins it with a beautiful trip over way the risks. Another three, it's hot in here, was third, and later Darling rallied to be in a battle for fourth. And uh, they're off. Stephanie's charm, along with trying my heart out, and Fast Kimmy is right there as they make the move around the bend and head for the back stretch. Fast Kimmy has come away with the lead. Trying my heart out down at the rail. And now Quarrel moves up on the outside to grab third. Life, love, and laughter is in fourth. Stephanie's charm had a steady there down on the inside in fifth. Also steadying there was Root Cause. On the outside is Tap It Up, and the trailer is Big Brass Bed in eighth. The quarter went in 24 and three-fifth seconds. Trying my heart out as the leader here by a half length with Fast Kimmy running in second, Quarrel in the clear on the outside in third, Stephanie's Charm in behind the front runners and in fourth. Alongside is Life, Love, and Laughter in fifth position, but just three lengths from the lead. Then comes Tap It Up, Root Cause, Big Brass Bed is still at the back. The half mile went in 48 and four. Trying my heart out. Leads here by a length with Fast Kimmy in pursuit in second. Quarrel now makes a move on the outside from third. Stephanie's charm is down at the rail. And she's followed by Life, Love, and Laughter. And tap it up. The trailers are root cause and big brass bed. Three quarters in one, 12 and four. Trying my heart out. Fast Kimmy. Quarrel on the outside, looking to come through. Down on the inside is Stephanie's Charm. Gaining ground out in the middle of the course is Root Cause. Then comes Quarrel. It is trying my heart out. Life, love, and laughter has made a move now into second. Root Cause continues to gain on the outside. Trying my heart out. Trying to pull off an upset here. Trying my heart out. Trying my heart out at 42. To one. And they're off. So high, breaks with early speed. There's Catnip joining that leader. They're one, two. Just off of them is going to be four in relations. We'll track in the third positions as they try to find that positioning early. Towards the outside is going to be Kaigo, who's got no choice, but is going to be a touch wide, is now taken third and saving ground to the inside. That's the gray, limited liability. Taken towards the back here is going to be Therapist, who's going to settle in now mid-pack as this leader gets away. It's so high in front as they reach the top of the lane for the first time. Towards the back of the field, Planetario is third to last in Red Knight. And at the back, that's Yamato. Up front, it's So High. So High has got the lead, Romero Mirage. And So High is now four and a half lengths clear of the rest. 
Catnip is stalking right here from second in that second grouping. Right to the outside comes Kygo, and at the rail, that's limited liability. The pink cap is Foreign Relations with Declan Cannon. They have now settled into the fifth position. Planetario is in behind them in sixth. To the outside here comes the move from Therapist, and Therapist is towards the back still with Red Knight, and the triller is Yamato. So high is in front, so high at 55 to 1 is five, six lengths clear. Catnip starts to move in closer now. They went 114 and 1 for three quarters of a mile. They're on the back stretch and they're chasing a big long shot in so high who's going to try and take them all the way in the United Nations. Catnip is right there with Kygo. They're second and third. Foreign Relations moves to the outside of limited liability is the gray with less than a half mile to go and the long shot is coming back to the field. So high is in front, but the sprint is on. Here comes Catnip. Kygo getting shuffled. Here comes Foreign Relations is in hand as well in the pink cap. Limited liability is called upon. Therapist has got to run. Is going to be out wider. They are well into the turn now with less than a quarter mile to go. Catnip has taken the lead and Catnip kinks for home. It's Catnip in front. So high is battling on to the inside. Also running on his foreign relations therapist and from the back here comes Red Knight launching late as well. Therapist is now taking the lead. Catnip is back to second. It's Therapist who's up by a length and a half. Therapist wins the United Nations States. Catnip was second. Then came Red Knight in a photo with limited liability and Planetario. Final running time. Two minutes, 14.50 seconds. And they're off in the Kelso. English B and Big Everest both out very quickly. Big Everest goes on with Philo de Ariana now pressing in second. Just in behind them, Casa Creed three wide going into the first turn, passed by Anaconda, who now takes the third spot, racing on the outside of English B. That pair about four lengths off the lead. Annapolis is covered up on the inside of Casa Creed, the two favorites side by side, and two more to Ice Chocolat. Joel Rosario and Big Everett B and Anaconda racing together. The opening quarter went in 23 and one-fifth seconds. Casa Creed is next. Cap far outside as the field turns for home. It's still Big Everest clinging to a narrow lead. Casa Creed right to him on the inside English B. Farther back, Annapolis has a lot of work to do. Casa Creed, a two-length lead, coming to the 16th pole. Annapolis finding his best stride, but it's Casa Creed. Casa Creed, what a classy individual, wins the Kelso. Annapolis was second best. It's a photo for third between Ice Chocolat and English B. They're in the gate. And they're off in the four-star, Dave, to a perfect beginning. My Sea Cottage is the quickest out of the gate. So high is up close, so is Annapolis. And Casa Creed has to go wide into the first turn. Just behind them, Emmanuel is down on the inside and carried wide there was full screen. Full screen is six lengths off the lead and a bit tough to handle at the back of the field, Ice Chocolat. They move on to the back stretch, and My Sea Cottage is the lot with a quarter of a mile to go. And Annapolis is cut loose on the outside of My Sea Cottage. My Sea Cottage, Annapolis right to him and right on by. Casa Creed still has three to make up. Starts to pick up some nice momentum now. It's Annapolis, and here's Casa Creed on the outside. These two square off once again. Casa Creed or Annapolis? Annapolis, Casa Creed. Casa Creed. Casa Creed. What a racehorse he is. A two-time winner of the four-star Dave. Annapolis and a hard-charging ice shuckle line, 134.20 seconds. And they're off in the grade one for Zet Stakes. And from the inside post, Irish Maxima quickly out for the early lead. Emery is racing in second. And then comes Life Talk, who's down towards the rail. Princess Indy is in between horses with just FYI in the clear on the far outside. The early trailer is Central Avenue in sixth. They've crossed over now from the chute to the main track, and Irish Maxima leads here by a length with Emery, the even-money favorite, sitting in second. 
opening quarter over the sloppy track in 23 and three fifth seconds. Just FYI is third, about three and a half from the front. Then comes Life Talk and Princess Indy, followed by Central Avenue. Irish Maxima leads here by a length with Emery still in second, a length and a half. Life Talk is down at the rail. Just FYI on the outside. Then Princess Indy, who's dropping back a bit, and Central Avenue. Half mile in 47 and three-fifth seconds. Irish Maxima by a neck. Emery is in between horses with Just FYI moving well on the outside. Here comes Just FYI up to challenge for the lead. Irish Maxima is in between horses now as Life Talk rallies down at the rail. Emery is in fourth. Here's Just FYI. Here's Life Talk. They're one, two now. Followed by Emery, Irish Maxima, Central Avenue putting in a late run. But Just FYI kicks clear now. Just FYI on to victory here in the 76th running of the Grade 1 Frazette. Just FYI and Junior Alvarado, Central Avenue got up for second. Life Talk was third. And they're in the gate. And they're off in the mile and a half Joe Hirsch Turf Classic. And from the inside post, so high will be the early leader as Pioneering Spirit runs in second and the favorite Rebels Romance is third here in the early going. Grand Sonata down at the rail in fourth, Stone Age is next in fifth. Then it's Warlike Goddess in sixth, followed by Astronaut, and Soldier Rising is the trailer in eighth. And they come into the stretch now with So High opening up here. So High has opened up a seven-length lead. Pioneering Spirit runs in second, and Rebels Romance unhurried in third. The opening quarter over the yielding turf, 24 and three-fifths seconds. Down on the inside is Grand Sonata in fourth. Then comes Stone Age and a Warlike Goddess. Those two are right together. And at the uh, back of the pack are Astronaut along with Soldier Rising. And now So High just goes on with it here and has opened up by better than a dozen lengths. Ran the half in 49 and 2. So High is isolated on his own here, taking the field to the back stretch. Then that big break to Pioneering Spirit, who is racing in second. Rebels Romance on the outside is in third. And then comes Grand Sonata down on the inside in fourth. The Mare, Warlike Goddess, down at the rail, passed there by Stone Age. Three quarters up in 115 and a three as the field races midway up the back stretch. And So High continues to maintain this huge advantage. Pioneering Spirit in second. And Rebels Romance is next in third. Then Grand Sonata, followed by Stone Age, Warlike Goddess, Soldier Rising, and Astronaut. It is so high going around the far turn. And the lead is about 15, 17 lengths. And then comes Pioneering Spirit as Rebels Romance now begins to pick it up on the outside. Rebels Romance now takes second. Pioneering Spirit is back running in third. Then Warlike Goddess. So high has the lead as they come into the stretch. It is so high. Trying to pull off a huge upset here. So high is the leader. Warlike Goddess is now gobbling up the ground on the outside. And here she comes now. And Warlike Goddess has taken over the lead with a 16th of the finish. The six-year-old daughter of English Channel. Warlike Goddess wins the grade one Joe Hirsch Turf Classic. Soldier Rising came from last to get second, and it looked like so high. Held on for third.
and they're off. And a quick start for Sugar and Spice from that inside pose. Quickly in front by two. Devil at Midnight runs in second. Seven, Natty Patty is in third. Magic Cross is running in fourth. And then it's the duo of My Starship and La Picasita. At the back of the pack are Exhilarate and Dorothy's Dreams. Sugar and Spice now joined on the outside by Devil at Midnight. So the two of them are heads apart through a quarter in 22 and one and seven Natty Patty not far behind in third. Magic Cross is making up ground now down towards the rail. It's a big break back to my starship in the fifth. Magic Cross has now switched to the outside for the final quarter mile and the field is coming into the stretch. And here comes Magic Cross now up to take over the lead. Seven Natty Patty is all out in second. Then Devil at Midnight, Sugar and Spice is dropped back to fourth. It is Magic Cross who has the lead, and the lead is now four lengths. Then Seven Natty Patty and Devil at Midnight. Magic Cross, a convincing debut winner. Turned out to be close for second for the late closing Dorothy's Dreams and Exhilarate.